Hi everyone. Um, today we're going to learn how to assemble our saxophone and put our mouthpiece together. Uh, so the first thing I want you to do is to put your saxophone case on a floor. Okay. Don't have it up on a table or up on a chair or a stool because it might accidentally um, fall out and break because they're very delicate instruments. And my theory is you can't drop your instrument off the floor. <laughs> okay. So put your case on the floor. I want to draw your attention first to the latch systems. This is what I tell students to look at to make sure that your case is right side up. So if I'm looking at my latch system and the case is correct, the latch will flip up like that. If my case is upside down, oy, I'm going to show you, the latch system will go down and everything will fall out and that's how things break and we definitely don't want that because instruments are very expensive so double check your instrument and make sure that your latches indeed go up and then you're going to carefully open your case i just dumped mine upside down so everything's a little bit off right now so the first thing i want to do is start with the mouthpiece okay so you are going to take out your neck Okay, some of you have brand new instruments that you just picked up from the rental store, which is perfect. That means your cork right here on the end might be really dry. So your case came with, your new instrument came with cork grease. So what you're gonna do before you assemble your instrument and put your mouthpiece on is put a little cork grease on your cork, okay? You don't want too much, you don't want it to get all gloppy, but, okay? And what I do is I just use my finger and smear it in, kind of like lotion. This is not chapstick. Don't put it on your face. Okay, so that was your cork grease. And then you're going to take your mouthpiece. Mine looks like this. All right. And you're going to hold your neck such that you're not pushing down on this key right here. Because this can get really easily bent. And when this bends, your instrument will not play correctly at all. Okay, so if you're looking at your mouthpiece, you're going to notice there's a flat side with a hole and a rounded side. This is the top. The rounded side is the top and the flat side is the bottom. So if I'm looking at my neck, this is the top, this is the bottom part. You're going to put the mouthpiece on and just gently twist back and forth till you have, I would say for now, until we tune, about that much cork showing. You don't want to shove it all the way till you don't see any at all. You're being really out of tune. Okay, so just looking at it, I have the rounded part on top and the flat part on the bottom with the hole and it's all lined up. Okay, I like to look at this piece right here on the saxophone and line it up to the middle of my mouthpiece. Okay, and then you're going to take your reed. So we use Van Doren reeds. They'll come in a case that looks like this. Um, beginners, a lot of times when they're taking the reed out is when they break it. So be very careful, you're gonna open it up. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, your reed's in a case like this. You're going to slide it out carefully, okay? Now, on normal circumstances, when we're assembling our instrument and you're used to putting on your neck strap and everything, this part would go in your mouth because reeds work. Um, they create sound by vibrating the reed, all right, when your air goes along it. So that only occurs when it is nice and wet. So if you don't like the taste of the reed, sometimes you can take a small container and put water in it and then just put your reed in for a little bit. You just don't want to soak it for too long. So as you're putting your saxophone together tomorrow, the very first step after you open your case is to take out your reed and put it in your mouth. And I would say up to the line. See how it goes from slick to, so from shave to slick? You're going to put it in your mouth about up to that and make sure it's nice and moist. Okay, but for today, we're going to go ahead and show you how to put it together. So I'm going to take the flat side of my mouthpiece and the flat side of my reed where the writing is and put writing down, okay? So if I'm looking at it, I don't see any writing. If you see writing, your reed is probably upside down, okay? Some people put ligatures on first. I find that I'm more likely to break my reed if I put my ligature on first. So I hold my reed on there and I'll adjust it in a second. And then I'm gonna grab my ligature. Yours will either look like this, which is a Rovner. I highly recommend the Rovner. Or yours will look like the metal one, okay? 
So if you have the metal one, you're gonna notice there's a fatter side and a skinnier side. The fatter side goes on first, okay? And you might have to loosen it up some, okay? And then you're gonna tighten the screw. So you know that your reed is on correct, or your, excuse me, your ligature is on correctly when the screw is on the right side, okay? Screw's on the right side and the ligature is below that line. That line on the reed that divides the shaved part from the shiny part, all right? You have to be below that line with your ligature, okay? And then you'll screw both screws, not too tight, okay? Because you want your reed to be able to vibrate freely. And it'll look like that. Now I wanna check the top of my reed next. So the goal is to have your reed line up with the top of your mouthpiece. Okay, so what I do is I nice I uh, gently push down to make sure that they're lined up, all right? Or you can check the back. You should never be able to see your reed. This is bad, okay? This is bad. You want to bring it down to where they're nice and lined up, okay? So I'm gonna show you the Rovner now because some students put this on upside down the first time. Okay, so the screws on ligature always go on the right side. It doesn't matter what brand you have, uh, screws on the right. All right, so on this one, I put it on like this, gently over the top of my reed. Same thing, I'm gonna make sure my um, ligature is below that shaved point. See it, see the line? I'm below that, and then I'm gonna tighten it up. All right, so I wanna point a few things out with this and straighten my reed back up with this Rovner. Um, the leather part goes on the reed, all right? The screw goes on the top because you don't want that on your delicate reed. So this part on top, this part on bottom to hold it on nicely. All right, and then tighten it up, but not too tight. Check your reed that it's lined up. Okay, check. Our neck is now connected to our mouthpiece. Our reed is on correctly, and so is our ligature. And we're going to set this aside. But first, always protect your reed. Okay, reeds are very expensive, and they're very, very, very delicate. So gently put on your mouthpiece guard and set aside. Now, I want you to grab your neck strap next. Never pick up your instrument when you don't have your neck strap on, okay? Because saxophones, I think, is one of the number one instruments that get dropped and broken in class, all right? And they're very expensive to fix. So neck strap next. And I want you to take two seconds to figure out how to adjust it before you put it around your neck. So you have this plastic part Okay, and it goes up and down. So obviously if I pull it up, it's going to tighten. And if I pull it down, it's gonna loosen. All right, and we want the full weight of the saxophone on this neck strap, not on our hands. So I'm gonna take my neck strap, I'm gonna put it over my head, all right, just like that. And then you have the hook at the bottom. So next you're gonna pick up your instrument, okay? So I don't want you to pick up your saxophone by the keys, all right? Because those keys easily bend. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your saxophone by the bell. That is the safest spot. And then you're gonna pick it up, okay? So I grabbed my saxophone by the bell, I picked it up, all right? Now, if you are near a chair, which I hope you are, I want you to go ahead and sit down. I'm gonna do this standing for sake of videography, if you will, okay? So new saxophones, you're holding it by the bell. You're not touching any of the keys, by the way. They have this safety thing at the top. This just protects this key right here. All right, so you're gonna wanna take this out and put it back in your case. And you're gonna put that in every single time. All right, so if I'm looking at my saxophone, I have a side of keys. This side faces out. And I have a side of, you know, kind of not keys really. All right, so there's my thumb rest. And then down here, you're gonna see a loop, okay? You see it? That's where you're gonna hook your neck strap. So I'm holding my saxophone very carefully. I got a good grip on it. I'm gonna take my hook and I'm gonna hook it in, okay? Just like that. Now, if you notice that you can't see my saxophone because my neck strap is way too loose, carefully, Tighten your neck strap without dropping your instrument. Don't drop it, that would be really bad. Okay, so tighten it up. Ah, okay. Now, 
got my saxophone on, feeling good. You have, some of you might have one screw, but I have two on mine. So again, everything's on the right. Loosen up the screw on the right, and that's gonna very gently loosen up this hole right here. Okay, now you're still holding on. Don't grip the keys, because I don't want you to bend anything. You're gonna take your neck that we just assembled, and you're gonna carefully twist back and forth until it goes on. All right, and then you're gonna tighten up that screw so it doesn't fall out. So to check that everything is on correctly and lined up, I want you to find that part that we had looked at earlier on the bottom of our neck. See it? And I want you to line that up with that key that we just talked about, okay, that sticks up. So I'm gonna try to get as close as I can. This straight key right there, see that? I want you to line it up with this, and that's how you know your instrument is lined up. Okay, so now your saxophone is ready to be played.